And now we are pleased to welcome to the Fox 56 football feast one of the newest commitments to the UK Wildcats in the 2019 recruiting class, Wandell Robinson of Western Hills High School. Thanks for making the drive over here. No problem. Thank you for having me. It's been a heck of a, a heck of a ride watching you develop through our camera lenses and watching you play and you know you recently made the commitment to UK that had to be a great burden lifted off of you but also an exciting moment in your life. Um, yeah definitely I mean I've been waiting for that moment in my whole life ever since I had the dream of going to play college football and so it had been really really good to get that over with and know that I know where I'm going to go play college football next year. So. How long did it drag out for you? Like when did you finally say okay I'm making the decision that's that we're, we're done with it? Um, Really, I just sat to myself and I was like, I can't keep sh drawing this out because I know that things are just going to get much harder as they keep going. It's just going to become more stressful. So I just sat to myself and talked to my family and the ones closest to me, and I really figured out where I wanted to go and when I wanted to go. So, But that was was that the night before, a week before? How, how close did it come? Um, I really decided on UK about a night before. So that was really, really, that was really about how so close it was. So it came down to that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, when so. you look at the schools that you had Purdue and Ohio State and Michigan and Alabama, you had some pretty darn good schools. What was the deciding factor? Because to go to the midnight hour, so to speak, it was a tough choice. But what was the deciding factor? There? Um, it was really just the trust factor. Um, you really obviously want to be around people that you trust the most. And it was kind of like worst case scenario. Where would you rather be? Would you rather be, I mean, obviously 12 hours away with Nebraska or 30 minutes away from home and you know you can go home anytime you need to do something or anything like that and so I'll always be around the ones that are closest to me too so well you look at Alabama they've got Damian Harris and they got Jed Wills from Lafayette <laughs> Damian Harris of course from Madison Southern did those guys uh, come into the picture at all for you their experience down there um not necessarily I mean I talked to them a little bit whenever I was down there for my official visit but they really didn't play a really big role in my recruitment or anything like that because I mean obviously UK wasn't the same way they are now that they were then whenever they were being recruited so it's a little different. When you say that it came down to you know that last night I think about that weekend before you committed what Lynn Bowden did against Missouri. Yeah. How much did he have an impact and how he's used with UK mm -hmm. uh, on your decision because you would think you would be used in a similar role right? Um, yeah definitely I mean obviously they plan on using me in the backfield a little bit more than he is so but, I mean, obviously I saw what he did really, really well in that game, and he obviously caught the ball really well. He returned that punt for a touchdown. And so, obviously I saw some things that I could do on the other side of him, and then it really just caused defensive problems. So, The style of play, that was one thing I wanted to talk about because we see Alabama, it's hard-nosed football. Mm -hmm. You see Michigan, for the most part, Ohio State, it's hard-nosed. The style of play of what the potential could be for you at UK, mm -hmm. how much was that one of those final asterisks that you just said, yep, yeah, that's that's where I want to go? Oh, um, yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, Coach Grant, he has a history, especially at Cincinnati. He used the slot, and he caught about 80 balls or something like that. So yeah. it was really good to know that he's had a history of guys that can catch a lot of passes, and once they get the quarterback developed to where, to where they want, that they can be really, really good in the passing game. So. This thing that's out there now that just came out like a week or so ago since they fired Bobby Petrino at Louisville. Louisville is saying, you know, everyone thinks that Jeff Brom is the guy. Uh, he's clearly the favorite because of the family and all the connections there. And then his connections to Louisville. Obviously, he got Rondale Moore to come to Purdue and join him. Milton Wright from uh, Christian Academy of Louisville just recently committed to uh, Jeff Brom and Purdue. But if he were to come to Louisville, uh, someone from Rivals there put out a report that Rondale, Milton, and you would go to Louisville with Jeff Brom should that happen? What, what do you, how do you address that? Um, I'm, I'm not going to say anything until unless that actually happens. I mean, obviously, I'll be a little open to consideration, but um, nothing right now. As of right now, I'm still 100% solid with the Kentucky, so I'm not really worried about any other schools. So. You recently got the Paul Horning Award, the first of hopefully for you several. How important is it now that the season's over, the team accomplishments have concluded, for you to be the Gatorade Player of the Year, for you to be Mr. Football, how important is that? Um, I mean, obviously that's really important to me. Those were some of the goals that I set whenever I was a freshman. Um, those have been awards that I've always strived to, strived to get whenever I was younger. So, I mean, obviously that's a goal of mine and I really hope to get those awards. So. Now you did say open to consideration, but <laughs> December is the signing period. Mm -hmm. Is that, are you locked in in December? You're still signing in December? Yeah, I have to sign in December. I'll be okay. graduating in December. So, <laughs> all right, I gotta, I gotta sign. Well, Wandell, thank you very yeah. much for joining us. Have a happy Thanksgiving. We really appreciate your time. So thank it's you. It's been fun watching, man. All right, coming up next, Brian and I preview the high school football semifinals when the Fox 56 football feast continues.